dot set a trip value what that trip value that you want to set up is actually this right here that you actually copied it earlier so you can actually copy that if you're lazy like me and you can give it a default value so in our case it would be red so 1.0 and now this is the thing if I say 1 and 0 and 0 and close that now I made sure everything is closed and hit apply uh, let's see whether it worked no it did not well actually let's see it did not that's cause uh, the attempted values actually not matching now why is that you got float values over here and you got integers over here so you actually need to make this integers oops zero and point zero now if I hit apply everything goes up as it's supposed to be because now everything is matching up float values to float values so let's make sure you do that so you got your app group and if you actually look over here well we haven't added the group yet so we can actually go ahead that up add that up so now the app the, this particular session right here this particular I want to call it a class it has some methods inside it so the method for adding up a primitive in our case will be add right and what we want to add is the prim and if I hit apply now this one one primitive got just got added up to the uh, group called up now we're gonna redo the whole thing all over again for the other groups for the down group for one elif is what we're gonna use so prim dot number is equals to four in our case I believe it was um, the bottom four yep we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing all over again right here so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it and now all we need to do is just change this to down now that's the down group which are actually which initialized right here down right here and then the rest is actually right here so uh, we want to create a yellow group I believe it was 1.1.0 and apply and there you go you get that working like so and for the rest you want to say else and I'm going to go ahead and paste that oops and I'm going to go ahead and copy this so that it works and paste that okay and we want to set the value as green so zero and then this right here will be this right here and to prevent typos I do stuff like that enter oops and apply and now you get the same thing all over again so accept and I'm done pretty much and now one node does what six node does and depending on how quick you are you know it's just a matter of preference for real but you see what it does pretty much the same thing all over again so you got the pipe and redoing the whole thing so now we got that done let's go ahead and finish up setting up the rest of the stuff so now in our case if you actually look at this everything just got flipped so why is that that's because this node right here changes everything so we're gonna go ahead and drop in a transform and on the rotate we're gonna rotate it to 90 of which the red was supposed to be up so it's up and is it up let's see yep it's up so now we actually need to go ahead and do the rest of the stuff so let's go ahead and finish that up okay so getting on with our session we're done with python and for one i'm gonna go ahead and click all this select all those guys press c on the keyboard and click select the color, color them black so that way i know they're actually not usable in this particular session so we just flip the things over here so everything is looking up now we actually need to go ahead and implement a rotation uh, which will be probably on the y in our case we can actually flip it on the y and we had already set the rule for the rotate so we're actually gonna go ahead and use it right here as a stamp value so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a stamp function and it's gonna be referencing the copy one and the token is uh, rotate 
because that's the default value, uh, the value that we set up for it. And zero is the default value, as if it doesn't find anything. All right, now, apparently it's already done. Well, it's already working. So we got the red, then the uh, whatever on the other side. We're well, actually supposed probably to be, let's see if I put a negative sign, actually flips the thing. Um, no. <laughs> oh, actually, let me see this. Um, I shouldn't do this when I'm working with you guys, but I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, anyway, um, so we got that working as so, so you can actually play around with this. And for one, it actually flipped our groups as, uh, as so. So you might want to actually let me see if I actually flip this. Um, if I actually flip this a negative ninety, what does it do? I don't know why I'm messing with this right now, but there we go. So I actually supposed to flip it at negative 90. So that way it's on the red group on the first first uh, frame. Then as you go up, it changes to the down group. So, you know, you have to kind of play with the settings a little bit sometime. And pretty much we done set up everything that's needed for the uh, animation to be done with. So all we need to do is actually project the data. We don't need this guy. Uh, project UV data to the primitives so in our case uh, we're gonna use a UV project UV project and we're gonna have to select the groups as it is so in our case you select the app group and it's gonna say oh I don't even know what group up is now if I actually just send this to from groups up to points to vertices everything goes away and if I actually want to you you know to make it you know, I don't know how far it's gone as far as doing the automatic thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and set it up to the Z explain and initialize the thing. Now if I go back over here, everything should be pretty much sized up and if rotation and blah blah blah. And pretty much that should be it as far as for setting up the data. If I can make it show me the visual the whatever, you can see how it looks like. And pretty much it's pointing downwards right there you can see how it is now you're gonna do the same thing all over again all only for the down group this time so off the top we're gonna change it to vertices and change it to down and we're gonna set it to a z explain and initialize well this one is also pointing down so we might as well make it point up now how do you make it point up um rotate it negative 90 let's see whether that works and actually it does so <laughs> we just okay set up the UV data so we got UV flowing through the vertex um whatever and now we're gonna just go ahead and drop in the material so material and material again so one is gonna be up and one is down and pretty much that's it as far as for everything and that's just a null that you need for the outside okay so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is under the managers you can drop in a shop network and over here we guess you're gonna drop in a surface decal a decal is just for one plane whatever so in our case one is gonna be up and specular you might want to play with that as you know with me I never give settings I just let you play with the stuff so decal again and this one is gonna be down all right and then we can actually select the textures so select the textures and once you get the se texture selected, selected, so mine I just selected two of them, and it's actually you know billboard effect or whatever you wanna call it. Now under material, material one for me is gonna be up, and the texture is gonna be up, right? And well, everything is coming in as it's supposed to be, but it's actually multiplying the colors from the previous colors. So now you can actually go ahead drop in a color. A color and make it uh, well white as you can see it does the job or that's option one so shake this off that's option one or you can actually drop in an attribute and if you actually look at this you have a primitive, primitive attribute called color so under primitive uh, the primitive tab over here you can actually delete attributes which is C and capital C and small d right answer and when it lot does the same job all over again it just depends on what kind of stuff you actually you know how you like doing your stuff now this one is a little bit more technical and it's probably a little bit better so I'll probably use this over this now you done set that up and material 2 will be the down group and 
down group and accept and pretty much if I actually animate this guy so on frame zero he'll be completely all the way down so there's the whatever and my texture seems to be rotated it's actually supposed to be the other way around but it doesn't matter in our case and I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to only 100 frames so that way it doesn't have to go through the whole procedure and I can just make that go like so alright and my text is actually flipped so in my case the up would actually have to uh, nope scale it down I don't know what you have to do rotate it in white nope that ain't working that ain't gonna work but anyway you get the point let's see how that works <laughs> so I need to flip one either one or the other I can't figure out which one I need to but you get the point so in that case we actually have to deal with one so let's see which one I'm gonna deal with let me deal with that okay and that's how I dealt with that I just put negative signs on the whatever had this was not actually necessary on the Z axis but uh, I just really did it but that's how I actually did that I just inverted pretty much the scale into this and that way everything just ripples through and pretty much that's the effect as it is now we can actually go under the material over here and drop in a constant right here onto this right and for this constant we want to make the color you know it's all a matter of preference for it. it really doesn't even matter you can actually do it however you want it but you know I just I just you know everybody has their own style of doing stuff and that pretty much will be fact they the effect as it is um, and that's why it's called wave to the Masai Mara because that's what it is I wave to the Masai Mara Masai Mara is yeah yep home is where the heart is now the effect is pretty much done actually I can play this and you'll see that um, it's more like a billboard effect same thing Peter Clays did but uh, no particles and it ain't that long and ain't no group for each node and blah 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 much simplistic I would say but just as good as his that guy's really good at stuff so big up to P. Clays for his stuff now I'm out on this one uh, let's see whether I can make the billboard with the long lines work I'm still having a problem with that now see you in the next one I'm out out.